So let's follow up. Uh, obviously this was filmed at a different time than the previous one. And behind me I have the slew of targets that Mantis provides with the Laser Academy kit. Uh, the small ones come with the portable kit and the big ones come with the regular kit. And the regular kit is the portable kit plus some extra. That's some of the extra. I did have to go download, so I'm looking through the app and uh, like I'm not tech savvy enough to show you like screens of the app, like capture the screen. Uh, I know people do that and well, I don't because I'm not a video guy. Um, but uh, so I don't have the little duper to show you. I do have notes though. But uh, so I'm on the app and there's a couple of drills. I'm like, what are those? So I had to, to Google them and uh, they had a target for the Konami and the Die Hard drill that are on there. and. Uh, I just hit print and got those two. So there are a plethora of targets. I think they're called the smart targets. And they have um, little blocks in the corner that the app recognizes so it knows where all the scoring sections are and stuff like that. Um, so I used them. I did have, I didn't try it with like all these targets on at the same time, but when I had like seven or eight targets inside my phone's viewfinder at the same time, sometimes the app would drop one of them, which was okay except that when it was the app that starts and stops the uh, the drills, I think it's over here, right there, um, then I had to reach up and touch it to start it. Uh, but it was pretty cool and uh, I got my son an account and then we did some of the head-to-head -head, uh, drills that are on there uh, so that I could see how those worked as well. And uh, overall, I thought it worked really well. Now, something else that they offer, and uh, I finally went and read like the FAQ and that kind of thing after I played with it because I kind of wanted to see what it was like with, I open it up, it, there's things in it, I go use them, and I don't go use other sources for information. So I finally went and looked at the website and the FAQ and like that kind of thing. And um, one of the things that was on there was uh, an FAQ it asked if you can use your own targets and it says no it's not meant for that. However that probably was written prior to one of the app updates and there is a section where you can do manual target zones and um, so and it has different shapes circles, ovals, squares, rectangles, that kind of thing. And you then pinch and zoom and then they have like even a more fine crosshair where you can up and down to make it bigger or smaller and then move it like one pixel at a time to line it up with whatever target you have on the wall. Um, however, this is where using a phone becomes more difficult because my finger is so big and the phone is so big and it was hard to get those lined up just the way I want. I think I would probably like this more running it on a tablet. I don't even own a tablet. Uh, there is not a Chromebook app. So uh, I am gonna pick up a tablet, a Samsung Galaxy something or other tab, and uh, a tablet holder, because it does not come with the, uh, like the things that come with it that hold a phone. They, don't, they won't hold a tablet. So if you're gonna go with a tablet, you gotta get a tablet holder to put on a tripod as well. And I think that'll be easier for me to pinch and zoom and that kind of thing uh, to make my own target styles. Um, something that would be nice, uh, they have a spot on there, I haven't used it, where you can uh, request them to make a smart target version of something, like you know, something out there in the world. And I think it would be great. I'm gonna try it out if they did the Tremis Dynamics uh, silhouette scoring zone. So it is, fits like the outside edge of an Ipsic target, but it has a much better brain box, a much more realistic heart box, and then like the B zone or whatever you would call it, like the, the lung area. Like it, it's sized for me, by the, in case you were wondering. Uh, it'd be great if they made a smart target for that and then shrunk it down to print on eight and a half by 11. Um, so I'll, I'll try the thing and submit it and see what it does. It would also be cool if they did one of the small dot drill because that's a real popular one with folks. So maybe they could, uh, I'll request that as well and see what they can come up with. I don't know if they 
actively do that unless there's a lot of requests or who knows. But uh, I'll try it and find out. But uh, I looked at the, the prices. It turns out uh, as of today when I'm filming the video, it's $149 for the big kit, $99 for the small kit. However, uh, something you can do, and I might do this for my son, is uh, you for $49, you can just get the license. So like for he and I, like all the features aren't open. If you don't have a license, like there's some free features and uh, there's uh, the pro uh, level of the app. Well, inside the app, you can just go from the free to the pro for 50 bucks and then you have access to everything, but they don't physically send you any stuff, which would be great for him because we already have the stuff here in the house. So maybe I'll do that um, for him so that he has access to all of the other uh, pro features. One of the things I thought was pretty cool was they have the Laser Academy Knowledge Center, or I think it's called a Knowledge Center, and uh, where there's a lot of questions answered and uh, other things that you can do uh, inside to, to help you along using the app. They're also, like when you open your account, you can do groups. So uh, like I have an account and it records my, my stuff. I can go online, like on a website, from my computer and see a, a review of everything that I've done. And then you can do groups. So you could have a group that were, you could do challenges or uh, and not have to be together for that kind of thing. Uh, so there is a Tremis Dynamics group on the Laser Academy. If uh, you're reading this or watching this, I guess, so you don't really be reading a video unless there's subtitles down here and uh, you wanna join the group. Uh, I don't know if I have to approve you to join or if it's just public. Uh, I think those are two options and I'm not sure what it's set at, but if you search us out and want to be in on it, uh, I'll add you to it. And then we can do some uh, group things too. Like I'd be cool with that. If you guys are interested, like we'll, we'll do some monthly challenges or, you know, something entertaining and uh, be able to track each other, how we're doing and that kind of thing. Um, on the, in the app itself, something I thought was pretty badass was there's a offset management like a, I think that's what it's called or adjustable offset sorry um, you can open the settings and if what you're seeing isn't what it's reading there's a way to zero in on like it tells you to pick a point on a target aim it at that press the trigger the laser wherever the laser goes it automatically adjusts and you can save that so later it's actually recording where your sights are at when the trigger breaks versus where the laser is at uh, because lasers might not be pointing the same. And for uh, me, I used a couple of different things. Um, it came with this um, laser cartridge. I think it's called the Pink Lady. I'm not positive. Uh, and I was running that in this SIG macro. Uh, you should get one of these, by the way. And um, I also was running a... Uh, next level training cert gun. So I used to run MMP, so this was perfect. But now that I'm running uh, 365s, uh, this isn't as awesome because it doesn't mimic my carry gear and I gotta get a different holster on and that kind of stuff. But the cert, uh, you know, the trigger resets. Unlike the laser cartridge in a real gun where you gotta reset the uh, sear every time. So this was, but it worked great. So. There was that, and it gave you more options for multiple targets without having to, you know, reset the, the sear every time. And then the other thing that I used was my uh, Blackbeard, and it worked great as well. So the three different things though, uh, like the Blackbeard, you can adjust the, you can zero the laser, and uh, that's great for getting it lined up with your red dot. But if the camera, on your phone isn't picking up the same as what you're seeing inside the app you have the ability to adjust so the fact that i use three different things gave me the option if i ran into like a calibration issue i could go inside the app and fix it there without having to worry about like how do i get this laser cartridge to point where i want it to like i could just fix it in the app so that was really cool too um i think there are a couple other uh, laser things on the market. I had found a freeware version of one that I had nothing but problems with. Uh, so this blew that out of the water. I will keep trying other ones out there and you know make comparison videos and stuff in the future because um, 
I find that with the current cost of ammo, uh, laser training has become a much more valuable tool. I mean, it's always been good. It's like a, a step up from dry fire, I and mean, it's still a dry practice. Uh, but adding that to it gives you some other options that you don't get running just completely dry. And uh, now with the cost of ammo, the cost of a kit, like all of a sudden, you know, the investment you put in one of these is not going to take long before you make your money back from not doing live fire. And here, just like with all the other dry practices, you get to do it at home. So, you know, you could leave a couple of these targets posted all the time. Um, I know like you could do, you know, a manual scoring zone on something like this, but it would be just as easy to pick, you know, like the Ipsic target here. And even though the scoring zones aren't as awesome, like you could just leave that up in your office. And anytime you want to get some practice in, uh, so like I got a tripod, the tripod sitting over here with the phone holder in it. I don't ever intend to do anything else with that except grab my phone, put it in there, fire up the app, get some dry practice in and be done. Like I can do five minute dry practice session or laser session, I should call it, and uh, be back about my business. So uh, if you have a cool place of employment, you could do it on like your, your lunch break and stuff. Um, however, you know, if your boss isn't cool with you bringing in a, uh, a black beard, then maybe you need a better job or you can just practice at home, like whichever works for you. But uh, all in all, I think the Laser Academy is pretty cool. I will continue to use it. And uh, likewise, if you guys out there want to get one or you already have one and you want to get in the group, we'll figure out a way to start setting up some challenges or something. And uh, uh, I'm not positive if there is any social aspect to that group where we can chit chat about what the challenges are but there is a ton of social media type things. You can all reach out to me a bunch of different ways with some ideas and we can do like a, a monthly video, uh, what we're gonna do for the month or something and uh, make it like a group thing. And that usually works out great for motivating people to get more practice in. And the more practice we get, the better. So uh, hopefully you guys uh, take me up on that and we do some interactive group stuff. And if not, you can still get one of these kits at the link down here somewhere and uh, get your own laser practice in and become a better shooter by doing so. That's what I got. Take it easy. Ready. Nine, ten, nine, ten, ten.